Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for Capricorn. Oh yeah. <laughs> now you're probably wondering why I'm on the camera again. Well, I took a poll and people want to see me. So not so much the card. So I went back to my original thing. So it's like we're starting all over again. <laughs> so we have the wheel of fortune. Let's see what else we got for you. Ace of Pentacles. Somebody's luck is changing here. Copy. <laughs> I like it. Let's see. What else do we have for Capricorn? Whoa. We have the King of Cups or the Queen of Cups here. So, wow. Okay. So, and she's in the upright. That's nice. All right. What else do we have here? So it looks like this Queen of Cups luck is changing. Spirit has an offer here. She's waiting for her ships to come in. So she's, looks like, whoops. Looks like things that have been manifested are coming in. So let's see here. Magician in reverse can be illusions though, and somebody's lacking some courage with something here. What's going on here? Of course, we'll get clarification to find out what's going on for each of these cards. Temperance in reverse. Hmm, okay. Um, let's see here. Somebody's being impatient, not standing up for themselves. Mm. is overwhelmed like over committed to something but the, with the death card in reverse here I'm feeling like that's Scorpio there's some type of delay or unwanted change here so what do we have on the bottom of the deck star there's no hope for something here mm. no hope or no faith with the star card as Aquarius. We have a broken heart here. So somebody's heartbroken with the Wheel of Fortune. Something's changing for the heartbreak here. What's going on here? Whose energy are we picking up here? Page of Swords in reverse. And then we have, somebody was playing mind games here and somebody's gonna get some justice. Hello. <laughs> All right, and that's Libra balancing the scales. So something's coming into balance here. What way? Hmm. But somebody isn't single here, so. And that's with that Ace of Pentacles. So somebody might be coming to offer this Queen of Cups a pentacle, but they might be jealous. Yeah, they're offering a cup of love too. Look at that. So. They might be jealous or they may be unavailable. They might be already in something. So what's this Queen of Cups? Well, she's coming out of some sorrow, loss. I, I feel like um, just moving forward, you know. Yeah, for this Queen of Cups. What's she waiting for? What's this Three of Wands? Oh, for a slow moving knight to come in to offer something here. Hmm, so waiting for her ships to come in. What about this offer though? Yeah, there was no victory. Waiting for something here. What's going on here? What's the magician in reverse? Hmm. I kind of feel like somebody wasted a talent or something hmm. waiting for their pentacles to grow. Could be some type of illusion when it comes to finances. Oh, Knight of Cups is coming in. Another offer of love. That's three offers here. 
a page, a knight, and a knight. There's two with the love and one with the pentacle. What's the strength card in reverse here? What's strength in reverse? That's Leo and that has to do with courage. Oh, there might be a lot of options for the, somebody here. <laughs> what is the strength in reverse, I wonder? It's kind of fear or maybe some self-doubt here. Maybe confused about something here. What is the confusion? Oh, about a Ten of Pentacles. About generational wealth? Or has lots of options? I kind of feel like she's going to have a lot of options. And I feel like she holds that Ten of Cups or Ten of Pentacles. So whoever is with her is going to end up with that Ten of Pentacles. But there's some kind of black mentality or with this with this or strength in reverse, that's kind of like a fear or some kind, maybe fear about getting the heart broken again. Hmm. What is this? This was the Page of Swords, yeah. Mind games and gossip. Heartbreak. But justice coming in, the wheels turning in the favor. There's somebody that wants to give you a pentacle, isn't available. They also want to give you love. You are coming out of some type of mourning. Maybe you had a loss, maybe um, a family member or family friend. Maybe you were crying over spilt milk at one point. And now you're coming out of that. Another offer here that you've been waiting for, but there's no victory here. Another offer for long term, but there could be cheating, wasted talents, or some type of illusion. Then we have the strength in reverse, so lack of courage or some type of fear here. When it comes to many options or an illusion about the Ten of Pentacles. Your wish fulfillment here. You have the Ten of Pentacles, you have lots of options, but there's some type of fear here and loss of faith or loss of hope that is coming in. You're the High Priestess. You have intuition. I feel you maybe doubt that when it comes time to accept one of these people that you're worried you're going to make the wrong choice. Maybe you feel you can't trust your intuition. What's the temperance in reverse? That's Sagittarius energy. That's adventure. Ooh. Truth. I kind of feel like, you know, somebody needs to be telling some truth or there's a breakthrough here. With the temperance in reverse here, I kind of feel like there's some kind of conflict or impatience here about some truth. What What is the, the Ace of Swords about? Mm, walking away from somebody and possibly you knew the truth. You might have been impatient about this. You might even be having this conflict and had to walk away from somebody because of some type of truth here. What's the seven of wands in reverse? That is somebody that is not standing up for themselves. Yeah, overburdened, like overcommitted to something. Hmm, Capricorn. What's going on? What is overburdened here? Knight of Swords, okay. This is somebody that can be aggressive. Um, they can be vicious, even reckless. They're still overcommitted here as well. And the Death card in reverse. What's that unwanted change? What else do we have here? Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse? 
Why is the Ten of Wands in reverse? Overcommitted. When it comes to Ace of Pentacles, really. They may not, they may be um, putting out more money than they're bringing in. Overcommitted when it comes to finances or offers. What's this Ace of Pentacles with this Ten of Wands in reverse? Hmm. Maybe got stabbed in the back when it came to finances. Was overcommitted. Maybe. I wonder if somebody was stabbed him in the back for finances. What's the Five of Swords? Oh, it's Emperor in reverse. <sighs> Looks like you might have got set up or screwed over here. You might have been overcommitted when it comes to finances. What's the death card in reverse? Hmm, Queen of Swords is here. Somebody that wants the truth. But the death card in reverse is Scorpio. That's a delay, an unwanted change, some fear here. So there might be some fear of this Queen of Swords. Maybe you are this Queen of Swords. Maybe you're showing up as the Queen of Swords. Um, possibly... Uh, unapproachable or they feel that you're going to cut them out of your life there might be some truth here that needs to be spoken there's a king of cups here as well we have the queen and king of cups we have the emperor in reverse and we have the queen of swords in the upright huh what's going on Let's get the love cards because this is kind of messy. <laughs> it's kind of um, not really clear here. What's this justice? What's the justice about? Somebody watching you, looking, stalking, gaslighting. Yeah, they may have gaslighted you here. And the wheel is turning. You're getting your justice here. What's this? Ah, you're going to get some clarity, truth, a revelation here about somebody not being, somebody giving you a cup while they're still with somebody. Okay, maybe they were just using you to get somebody jealous that they wanted to be with. What's this Queen of Cups? Hmm. Yeah, looks like attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temp third party interference so you might have been the third party unknowingly they may have tried to get with you and somebody find out the third party found out or the main party found out you they may not have cheated on you but they may have used you to upset this other person and you may have been the third party to this situation because they're unavailable here. Somebody might even be jealous. Huh. What's this no victory? <laughs> the six of wands in reverse. Six of wands in reverse. Ooh. <laughs> Healing heart. Okay. So you were waiting some, for your ships to come in here from this Knight of Pentacles. And I feel like you now realize there will be no victory in this for waiting for this person. I feel like you may have let this person go and you're healing your heart from this. Yeah, healing from heartbreak, freedom from toxic relationships or addictions. And I feel like it's maybe this person's had you waiting for a long time, making you think that maybe you one day might get together. What's this Knight of Cups here? What's this other offer in the heart of the reading? What is, ooh. Mm. 
Okay, so it looks like maybe sabotage. <laughs> Somebody may have sabotaged this. They want long term here. They may not know how to manifest. Or they may cheat. Give you illusions. Yeah. Magician in reverse is cheating, illusions, and... Um, wasted talents and finances are doing well here and wanting a cup of love and then we have sabotage rebuilding interrogation repetitive persistent working on it so you might be working on your finances maybe they are they still may want to come in uh, but that would be cheating they're interested in conversing with you. <laughs> uh, yeah, waiting a message arrives, text calls or email. Hmm, somebody still wants to talk to you and maybe they're waiting for you to talk to them. But they sabotage this. I feel like you're not gonna stick around. Yeah, they don't have the courage. There may be, there might be an illusion about a ten of pentacles, or that you have lots of options. I I kind of feel like it's more that they don't have the courage to come forward. I feel like maybe somebody has them in an illusion about something here. They might be jealous too, and not have enough courage here. You might have lots of options to choose from. And I feel like you hold that Ten of Pentacles because you are the wish fulfillment. You are the gift, I feel. And you know, I feel like somebody fumbled you, didn't realize you were the gift. Yeah, you separated from this person. I knew you would. I, I could feel it. Sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, unsure of the future and separation here. So there is a separation. You separate yourself from this person here. What's this truth? You're walking away because you already know the truth. Yeah, you're not waiting around. You're not being. You're gonna be impatient about moving forward because you already know the truth that they're taken, even though they may have lied to you about that. Yeah, they're gonna miss you. Reminiscing. Yeah, yeah. Learn from the past. There you go. So you are learning something here. You know your worth. And you know that you're not going to have that kind of behavior. They have to come right or not at all. Now the seven of, so or seven of Wands is, I don't even feel like you stood up for yourself with this person. You just maybe ghosted them. They're overcommitted. So I feel like you know this. And with the Knight of Swords in reverse, this is somebody that's aggressive, kind of vicious and can be mean. What's the Knight of Swords? Looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia. They want to make new memories with you. But it looks like they're still overcommitted to someone else, even though they still want to bring that pentacle in or spirits bringing a pentacle in but they're talking shit about you stabbing you in the back here and it could be this emperor in reverse who's domineering and even though he's an emperor doesn't make him divine okay if he's not with spirit and um believing in a higher self or a higher up or a higher white light or however you want to put it if they don't feel there is a god or if they're not connecting with god then they're not truly divine okay now this emperor is in reverse so he is um not willing to compromise wants it to go his way and he may have been talking shit because he didn't get that with you because he's still with someone else Death card's in reverse, okay? So, there is an unwanted change. This emperor doesn't want to change. He's un unwilling to change, I feel. Well, 
Oh, that was fast. Yeah, stabbed in the back. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. And I feel like you were not expecting that from them. I feel like you, you haven't done anything, you know, other than have self-respect for yourself. <laughs> And I don't know what's going on with these masculines. I mean, women have hopes and dreams as well. We also have free will. We don't have to do certain things if we don't want to. We have a life to live too. Just because we're with somebody doesn't mean they own us. We're not a possession, okay? And I kind of gotten that feeling of this, this emperor in reverse, being so possessive and mean yeah I, I feel like you've already walked away from this person and they're still trying to do shit to you hmm what's the death card in reverse yeah it's a comic relationship so it's it's yeah it's a trigger you were learn you were meant to learn something here Capricorn and I feel like you did yeah there's a king of cups here and then the bottom of the deck here this person feels like they have no hope but there's real love here unconditional love for this king of cups has possibly for you so let's look at that with the romance angels we want to know about this king of cups in reverse Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, the bond deepens. And, hmm, maybe this is a new person here. Oh, well, this card's important. It fell on the floor. Okay. Hmm. I kind of feel like it's hard for you to trust, but Spirit's saying to trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. So, and I feel like it's going to be that divine timing kind of thing, right? So, you might have to be patient. And, and I feel like you're learning patience. Maybe that wasn't easy for you to learn. <laughs> Oh, we have soulmates here and romantic feelings are worth exploring and yes this is your soulmate so let's see what else we got this king of cups hmm in reverse was this king of cups in reverse you might be kind of anxious right now Ooh, pay attention to the red flag. So there might be something here you need to look at. So what is this separation card? There is traction here. You may feel there, there's signs that are cautioning you here. Let's see, what's the camera? Ooh, chemistry, attraction and chemistry here. I wonder if this is a self-sabotage moment for the Capricorn. <laughs> Just because you've probably had a lot of crummy people throughout your life. And maybe not know what a healthy relationship looks like. Separation here. So you may get together with this person. Have a lot of attraction, chemistry. But you may realize there's some type of red flags coming on here. So you separate from this person. Ooh, yeah, deception. So this King of Cups is no good for you either. And he probably knows he has no way of getting to know you or getting in there because there's no hope. And you're high priestess, so you see everything. You, if you really pay attention, you will see what you need to see. Spirit will show you what you need to see. Yeah, make the effort. Great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. So to walk away from this person because they're deceptive. So not only is this emperor in reverse not for you, neither is this king of cups, okay? And I kind of feel like there's going to be two people you have to say no to, and then the third person is going to be your person, okay? 
but you're going to be tested in a sense of are you going to be able to trust yourself with your decision of whether this person's good for you or not okay let's do the butterfly so I want to say thank you to all of my subscribers and for the donations. I am going to buy some more cards or actually I've already put the order in to get more cards for our readings for you. So thank you for that because any donations I get, I put right back to um, the readings. So we have healing from the past. So these people may have been past people here, okay? You are stronger than you know. This might be hard for you and painful for you to get back with this person for um, a bit just to find out they hadn't changed. Or maybe you already know this and you're not even willing to go down that path. And maybe that's why there's no hope here is because they know they're not going to get back into your good graces finances okay so you are stronger than you know maybe you are doing a new exercise program good for you copy oh wow in the heart of the reading <laughs> windfall look at that beauty love it and that's for paying attention to the red flags so you're going to, I feel that's going to be a windfall in finances. Sentimental feelings. Uh, that might be what you're feeling for these people from the past. Is Especially if you were with some of them uh, or one of these people for a long time. You may have had unconditional love for them. And that wasn't how it was for them. It was more illusions and what they could get from you. Yeah. I feel like you love hard. Like you love hard. Like you put everything into your love. And um, you have strong emotions for people when it comes to love. Okay. Join in. So maybe you're supposed to... I, I want to say maybe go and do uh, a night course or like an art course or whatever you like to do in your free time a hobby i i kind of feel like or you want to maybe improve on something i kind of feel like maybe this joining in is going to be something along those lines you know whoa <laughs> Seeking and finding is your last card. And I feel like that is going to be when it comes to love. I feel like you're going to find what you're looking for here. Religion and spirituality. So this may be a part of this next phase that you go into. Uh, whatever you're looking for here. I feel like this person that you find because I know it's about emotions and love okay I feel like they may be religious where you may be spiritual that might be a thing but make the effort and as long as they can um, respect what you do and it's not a problem for what you're doing um, then it shouldn't make a difference whether you're religious or spiritual Okay. As long as you believe in God, you believe in God, right? So, isn't that what religion's all about too, right? So, and if they are religious, I kind of feel like <laughs> religion is more man-made based whereas spiritual is more believing in a higher power other than yourself, okay? So, wow. I'm going to get a couple of these love cards here to see what comes up for you. Spiritual connection. <laughs> that could be what happens in your next thing here. A relationship has connection that goes beyond this lifetime. So this might be a uh, past life soulmate or past life 
twin flame relationship patterns it takes strength to recognize the need for change and i feel like this is what's going to happen here is you are going to have people come back in that want to try to get in your energy and i feel like are you going to do it <laughs> and spirit's going to see if you are on the same page as what they want you to be on and if you need to learn the lesson all over again or not okay and remember, learning lessons is all about growth. And karmic lessons, uh, relationships, are just things we needed to learn that we didn't know we needed to learn, okay? So it says, express your love through gifts. A small token of love can come, can convey, sorry, great appreciation. So, wow, by giving a gift. Oh, that's sweet. And this one wanted to come as well. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. And I feel like you might be uh, a happy-go-lucky kind of person already. And you may actually um, <laughs> upset people with your light, you know. They uh, upsets their demons, so to speak. And this on the bottom of the deck says, love who you are, okay? Love who you are. You are divine, de delightful, and deserving of the wonderful things life has to offer. Wow. That is awesome. That's number eight. That's mastery action resolution. We also have number five which is change and we also have eight uh no nine and that is fruition attainment and fulfillment we also have these cards are hard to see here they're so tiny these numbers uh number three which is creativity groups and growth and then we have number 10, which is uh, completion. So maybe you've already completed this test. Maybe you've already learned what you needed to learn. Now you're going to maybe be on this next phase. Oh, Capricorn. <laughs> awesome. I like this for you. So, hmm. Even though there's no love coming in right at this moment, I feel like it's going to be. I've maybe just time to put yourself out there. Maybe you've been at home a little too much and being a hermit. <laughs> maybe you're still healing. <laughs> in any case, that's what I have for you, Capricorn. Please like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Give me that thumbs up for your girl here. I uh, was working hard <laughs> and I appreciate all the donations. I think that's so awesome. All right, you guys, take care. Stay blessed. All right, later.